Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Will. This is Will of the Nerds and we're back with another deck tech video. It feels like it's been a while since I've recorded one of these. But uh, we are going to do a a night deck today. I'm, I'm calling it my dark night deck but it is black and white. Um, I think it's named dark night because it has a, a lot more to do with uh, evil things I guess you could say than uh, pure white knightly things. So we will get in, we will do a new deck, and we will call it, we'll call it Dark Knight. And as usual, casual play. Okay, and we start with the land base like we always do. So we'll count out the planes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 planes. So come down here, planes, click zero, enter. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten swamps. So even on that. And then we have uh, a play set of Orzov Guild Gates. So we're going to type that in. If I know how to spell Orzov. Get, nope, guild, guild gate. We'll do that. We're gonna punch in four of them. Um, it don't really matter. This is what symbol? They're all, yeah, they're all dragon's maze ones. So that's what we're gonna put. So dragon's maze. All right, so. I play a lot of two ofs, if you haven't picked up on that. I play a lot of two ofs until um, I maybe see a trend in the deck when I play it. So I haven't played this deck yet, so it's full of two ofs. But uh, we are going to start. We have a lot. We have a couple Corpse Knights. So we are going to type him in Corpse Knight and drag him over. He is from M20, and we will find the set. We will click on him. There's different versions of him? Oh, promo, whatever. It's just the regular version. And we'll click on him so you can look and see what he does. When another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. And he is 99 cents on Card Kingdom. Huh, okay. And we will move on to... Forever Young, which I really like this card. This is probably my favorite card from uh, Throne of Eldraine. We have two of them. So we're going to pop two of these over. Throne of Eldraine. And uh, put any number of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library and draw a card. So I really like that. That would actually work good in a, a I guess a zombie deck. But I, I really, that's my favorite card from Throne of Eldraine. So that is the card that I would take no matter how many cards I get from that. That's the one I'm always going to take. Uh, next we have Worthy Knight. So we have, again, two of them. That, was, that looks like it's also from Throne of Eldraine. So let's find it. It is just the regular one. And what do you do whenever you cast a night spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token? This one um, could probably get replaced. It might get replaced for something else. Maybe it'll probably get replaced for another dark knight because I have a few other black knights that I really don't have anything to use them in. So he's probably going to get replaced with that. He could go in probably a token deck would be the best thing that he would go in or just a, a white just a pure white knight deck, which I do have some that I probably have uh, cards that I can take out when, when we get to it, when I go over it. And then next we have Black Lance, Paragon. We have two of them. And that is also Throne of Eldraine. A lot of Throne of Eldraine knights here. It has Flash. When it enters the battlefield, target knight gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn. So this is one that I might throw a three of in and take worthy knight out and then uh i'll have to find something else to put in for the other worthy knight next we have josu lich 
which I really like. Night Lich, we have two of him. He is, he seems like a bit harder to get out and to especially get his ability. Um, you have a kicker, so you may pay that additional. He does have menace, which is nice. But when he enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, I create eight 2-2 two -two black zombie knight creature tokens with menace. So it would be maybe nice to find, uh, to maybe throw some stuff in here that lets me search for mana. But that would require it to probably make it black and green because I don't know if there's any um, black or white stuff that lets you search for mana. There might be white that lets you play an extra land. But he's like the end game, end game card for me. If not all else fails, hopefully by the end of the game you have him in your hand and then you can just get a bunch of stuff out. And... Uh, you might, I might actually put some board wipe in here to do that. So board wipe, play him next turn, and then you can overwhelm. Next we have Oath Sworn. Oath Sworn Knight. Two of them. That looks like Throne of Eldraine again. We have two of them. Let's see what he does. Enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it. When Oath Sworn... Oh, it attacks each combat of Able. If it were dealt damage while well, it has a plus one plus one counter on it uh, prevent it and remove a counter so uh, there is a card that i see i believe kind of helps this and there is a cleric that would probably go very good in a deck with him but he he really isn't much i guess he's just something quick to get out turn three that's a four four it could stay alive for a little bit to do some damage all right so let's skip that card because i know i have more of them then we have a Knight of the White Orchid. Way down here at the bottom. I believe it's probably the same set. It is. I don't know what set that is. Is it Commander? It's Commander. Okay, so there's a Commander card. Is it from any other sets? Okay, so it's in Origins. It's in Shards of Alara. So it is standard legal card. Okay. What do you do? First strike, when it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a planes card and put it on the battlefield and shuffle your library. Okay, so there's your... Okay, so it's a two-drop for a two-two that lets you search for land. So this one's probably going to get replaced. I'll get a, a three. Th that one is going to replace probably Worthy Knight with a three of. Um, that way it gives me a little more uh, land search. That way it really helps me with um, getting land out for Josu Night Lich. So that helps to have three of them in there. Then I have a better chance of getting it. Next we have Diamond Knight for two of. It looks like he was only in one set. Core set 20. And you're cheap too. Vigilance, which I appreciate. It enters the battlefield, choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, put a plus one plus one counter on Diamond Knight. Um, this is where I really would prefer it to be like an all black deck. Cause if I can make it an all black deck, I'd probably throw another one of him in here, but I don't know how many black knights there are, how many good black knights there are. Um, so, I mean, you could find some black spells to put in here, but you know, eh, there's some very good white knights that just go good in a knight deck, obviously. Then we have Valiant Knight for a two of again oh m19 or m19 i wonder which one it is it's m19 all right other knights you control get a plus one plus one knights you control gain double strike until end of turn so that also helps with end game stuff and uh the other knights getting plus one plus one is very nice that also helps with uh the one knight when you uh remove a uh, a counter from him is so he won't die he'll just he, he'll be a zero zero or he'll constantly be a plus one plus one because he he'll constantly have that um until so it gives him an extra turn before he dies basically a real i did not spell that right ariel a r y ariel knight of wind grace we have two of them from Dominaria. 
black and white. Vigilance, create a 2-2 white knight creature token with Vigilance. And black and tap, tap X untapped knights you control, destroy target creature with power X or less. What's the X, though, is the thing. Is it supposed to be... Oh, so I can tap any number of black. I'm assuming that's what X is. I'll tap X. Jesus Christ, they can't even read. Tap X. So if I tap three knights, it's going to be a power three, three or less. Mm. Excuse me. So it is kind of nice to have a little bit of token creation in this, which is probably why that one knight is in here. But, um, eh, meh. All right, next card we have knights charge oops okay so it's s then apostrophe uh, apostrophe not semicolon there we go I could talk so I, I recorded um, Total War before this right and if I wouldn't have recorded and just recorded this my throat would still be dry I went all of Total War just fine no problems. And then I go to record this and my throat's like, nah, you're dry now, bro. Uh, whenever a knight you control attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay, you pay six, one white, one black, sacrifice knight's charge, return all knight creatures you control from your graveyard to the back. Okay, so that's cool. You can see why that's in here. And if somebody doesn't have enchantment destruction, I, I gotta put a board wipe in here. I have to put a board wipe in here destroy i need something that destroys all creatures and then i can do that i yeah so i i need to look i have a couple board wipes there is a destroy everything deck i have that needs torn apart because it's there's just too much going on and uh, i'll have to take some cards out of that and put it in this okay so we have a knights or knight exemplar for a two of and we need to find you. There we go. What set are you? Uh, the dual deck. What do you do? What? Oh, wow. She's $16. First strike, other knights, creatures you control get a plus one, plus one, and are indestructible. If I had the money, definitely buy her and put her in every knight deck I have. But I do not have the money. And she's not legendary, so... You get both of her out. Like, if you get both of these out, all of your shit's indestructible. Awesome. Okay, so next we have Cathar's Charge. Cathar's Crusade, sorry. My apologies. And these are the Commander cards. And it was an Avacyn Restored. So it is standard legal. Um, where did it go? I lost it already. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. So that helps buff all of my stuff. Granted, it's a fucking five drops. So it's going to take a while before you can get that out. And, okay. So here we go. This is... We have a play set of this card. Which I can probably take... Angelic... We have Angelic Gift. So, I have a play set of this. They're from... They're from all over the place. I have two from M20. So that's what I'm going to click on. Because they're probably all the same. Um, enchant Creature. Ench when Angelic Gift enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted Creature has Flying. So, I, I like having these in here because I play a lot of decks that have flying stuff in it and if I have stuff that could give my creatures reach and whatnot I would do that but I also have a gift of Orzov in here which might get taken out because I already have some flying stuff in here that gives me some card draw but I have two of these in here and if we can find it there we go it's from gate crash is the one I have and it gives flying too. And it gives um, a plus one, plus one flying and lifelink. It's it's one more. But if I end up going more like black creatures, 
then it's probably going to be this one because it gives a little more, although it doesn't give me card draw. So, eh. But that is that. And then we have Murderous Rider. Where are you, Murderous Rider? Yeah, Swift End because it is a split cast spell. If I can find you now, you are Throne of Eldraine. And so the instant side, destroy target creature or planeswalker, you lose two life, which I would be okay with that. It's a three drop. If somebody has a planeswalker out real quick, I'm okay with taking two life to destroy a planeswalker. Um, lifelink, when Murderous Rider dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library so I won't lose it. That really helps. Um, so there is a few cards in here that could probably be taken out. And then, of course, the last card, my favorite black card, Murder. Although, Vrasicus Contempt might be my favorite black card, but Murder is, is nice because it's cheap. Um, it doesn't really do much now because there's a lot of Planeswalkers, but it's just Destroy Target Creature. Vrasicus Contempt's a lot better because I think it's creature and creature or Planeswalker. So, obviously, it's, it's better in, in my opinion. But they're a little expensive. All right, so we can save this deck. We can look over everything. We have 10 enchantments, 2 instants, 2 sorceries, and 22 creatures. 24 lands. Look at the details. A lot of 2 drops and 3 drops, and then it just kind of goes down from there. Everything's split evenly. That's That never happens. 14 to 14, 28 to 20. Huh. That never happens. Wow, okay, that's, that's awesome. All right, let's look and see what the most expensive card is. Cathar's Crusade. Uh, Knight Exemplar is what it is, but it's still only a $50 deck, so that's not terrible. That's not bad at all. The Visual Spoilers. That way you can see it again. There you go. And um, we can look at the starting hand. That is uh, not a good hand. That's better. Usually when we play, we give one free mulligan. And then you can, after that, then you have to uh, go down a card. So that's still seven. Um, nothing I can do. So I would play Orzhov Guildgate. Add another card. Orzhov Guildgate. Add another card. Throw the planes down, and then I would probably play this. Um, yeah, search your library for a plane card and put it onto the battlefield. It doesn't tap either. So, play that. And then I would probably play that. Two card swing, and now you're going to get a token every turn now, too. Awesome. The next turn, you can swing for four right and now what would I want to do that is lifelink I wouldn't probably I don't know if I play him yet you could play this I would probably play this because you have four mana on the battlefield because of that so you're swinging in for four you're getting a token so you have two defenders um, depending on what you're playing, you're probably going to do, I'm going to say, I'm going to say two damage at least. Add a card. Boom. I didn't want that. I just want to play it. So what can we do? We have five mana. I'm probably doing this. And doing this. So I'm going to give. I'm giving Worthy Knight Flying. And I'm giving. Uh, Ariel Knight of Wind Grace Flying. And swinging in for six. So. Uh, most. Most cases. I haven't lost a creature yet. Because by turn three. Either. Who I'm playing, they don't have any creatures out, or they have a 1-1 one, one, or a 1-2 out. 
So my creature is more than likely still alive. So you're swinging for six in the air. You're up to 10 damage already by turn four. And then we can add a card. Um, we have managed to play this. So I think we play that. And we swing in the air again and see what we get. I'm going to say probably two gets through. And then uh, we'll end the turn. We'll draw. We have five mana. So that's three. That'd be four, five. Um, that's going to be a four, four. Yeah, I, I play both of these, actually. Keeping one card in hand. I would give... If this thing's still alive, that's when I'm giving Death Touch. Swinging in again. Um, maybe with some of your tokens. At this point, we're going to have one, two, three tokens. And I think two of them can attack. So I'm attacking with two tokens and these two guys. They might not block this because it has death touch but chances are they'll probably take the trade and take two and then maybe block one of your tokens to take three so they're at like 15 life lost 15 life at this point and then i would just play everything and swing out with everything at this point because uh if they haven't destroyed any of your creatures and you're swinging out i mean your one creature has life link so you're you've been gaining life if they've been picking at you, you should be able to win by that. So that's probably the quickest we've done anything with any of the decks. That's surprising. You've got a really good starting hand. It usually doesn't doesn't go that way. And then there's the probabilities. And we will let it go there. So if you guys could please like, subscribe, share. Hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. You can follow me over on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one.